Good morning, National Dayers! It's Mrs. Erickson. Today is Friday, November 17th. It's the 321st day of the year. There are 44 days left. Happy National Homemade Bread Day! On November 17th, homes will fill with warm, comforting aromas, reminding us to slow down and enjoy National Homemade Bread Day. Yeast bread calls for us to slow down. We need to spend time with each other as we work the dough and let it rest and rise before baking. Quick breads allow a special treat to share and enjoy with coffee or tea. Other homemade breads such as donuts, pretzels, muffins, and biscuits add variety to our everyday meal and making them with friends and family brings joy and an opportunity to exchange recipes. Those who make homemade bread commit to using good ingredients and investing in the time. They make it not only because they love the flavor, but because they know the people they love love the flavor as well. Homemade bread enriches the flavors of our meals and the flavors of our conversations too. Bread is full of symbolism around the world, across cultures and religions. In our lives, bread is valuable. We consider our livelihood to be our daily bread. We're making it, breaking it, consuming it as part of our faith. Bread can be exciting if it's sliced or boring if it's white. There's a bonus bread too. However, it seems a bit messy if it's buttered on both sides. Then again, when we roll in the dough, it's messy too. Bake it and it becomes heavy bread, but it means the same thing. Take out your recipe box and get to baking. It's the best thing since sliced bread. Today is also International Students Day, National Baklava Day, National Hiking Day, and Guinness World Records Day. Okay, National Dayers, today we're gonna make homemade bread in a bag. Gather the following ingredients. You'll need three cups of flour, divided into three different cups, three tablespoons of sugar, a package of rapid rise yeast, a cup of warm water, three tablespoons of oil, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the flour, the sugar, and the yeast and add in the water and make sure that the water is warm. And then you're gonna pour it into a plastic bag and mix it up really well and then let it rest for 10 minutes at room temperature and then it's gonna to start to bubble. You wanna open up the bag and put in one cup of flour and the oil and the salt and then seal the bag again and squish that up until it's mixed really well. And then once that's well blended, you're gonna add in the last cup of flour, close the bag and mix it one more time. And you're gonna really have to mix it Then you're gonna take it out of the bag and you're going to knead the bread until it's really well mixed together. And then you want to place it in a pan and let it rest for about 30 minutes. And then bake it in a 375 degree oven for about a half an hour. Just keep an eye on it. If the bread turns golden brown before then, you'll want to take it out. Now this will make two little loaves of bread or one big loaf of bread, depending on the size pan you have. But look at this bread. It looks delicious. Well done, National Dayers. All right, National Dayers. Whether you get bread that you've made yourself or you buy the bread that you can bake at home or you just buy a loaf of bread, no judgment. Bread is delicious. Get some in your belly today. Keep smiling. Have a fabulous Friday, an amazing weekend, and I will see you right back here next week. Bye. Yum. It's time for super spectacular shout outs. 
Our shout outs today start us off with Mr. Oscar, Ms. Sandy, and Mrs. Renata, and everyone in the High School Life Skills Program at Dorothy Carlton Center in Cypress, Texas. Next up is Mrs. Lintner and Mrs. Sovacool, and everyone in the 5th and 6th grade resource room at Dover Intermediate School in Westlake, Ohio. And our third shout out today goes out to Mrs. Yu and everyone in the core class, grades 9 through 11, at East Islip High School in Islip Terrace, New York. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. I hope you loved your shout out. Teachers, if you'd like to get your class a shout out, just complete the Google form. The link can be found below this video in the description. And here it is, our updated super spectacular shout out map.